Hello dear friends, welcome back to the what's next video concerning the leaves that we put in water. Actually, it's the science project, leaves versus uh, soil versus water. Now we started this on January 15. So it's been, and today is March 31st, so it's been 75 days since we began the project. We have a baby starting. <laughs> But first, I will show you what not to do. Well, maybe it is something that we can do, but you shouldn't, I think. From our tests, if you remember, we planted three leaves. Ah, let me get this. Okay, we planted three leaves in water with the fertilizer, so we lost two right away in the beginning. And this one, um, it, I've replanted it twice now. It keeps on rotting, and it doesn't look too bad right now. Let me focus on there. That's what, that's the best I can do. <laughs> it's not producing any roots, but um, it seems to be nice. But if I touch it, this is all, uh, if I touch it, it's very, very soft. So I don't think it's, it, I, we're, we're probably going to lose this one too. Now from all the other videos, a lot of you say, well, take it out, put it in the water. But this is really a test. Uh, it was a science experiment. So we're going to leave it. It's okay if it dies. We want to know if, uh, what works and what doesn't work. So I'm going to leave it as is. If it dies, it's going to go join its sisters. And now here we have something going on, which is quite neat. We have, of course, a lot of roots. So just to recap, um, just to recap, two of these have been rooting since the beginning, the, the, these two. This one at some point rotted, so I did remove the end of the, uh, the stem and put it back in water, and it has roots already. Let me focus in there. Let me focus in there. There you go. So we have roots on this one right here. This is the last one to uh, be put down, and if I just move that over a bit, now, see that little thing sticking up in the middle? Um, let me put it right in the middle of the screen. So you see a stem. Let me see. You see a stem. There's roots all over. Then there's this little thing right there. That's a baby. Cool, isn't it? So I'm going to do my best to focus in there to show you what it looks like. Sorry, I'm shaking all over the place. I get it. I'm not very good with this. And I'm trying to work in macro to get some pictures in there. There you go. That's a tiny little baby starting up. I'm kind of surprised that it starts, um, it's starting up a little bit higher on the stem uh, as usual because normally, let me get my finger in there. <laughs> normally the babies would start down here around the uh, edge of the stem where we cut but uh, apparently this one is growing a bit higher. You can see there's about maybe half a centimeter there between the little plant and um, the, the, the end of the cut stem where we would uh, normally see the babies growing. So yeah, so that's happening. Kind of cool. So I'm going to leave it in water uh, longer because I want to see what happens. We want to see it growing. Let me go in and see the other one because this is small right now. Maybe there's something there too. We didn't, I didn't see it. So this is the one, uh, this one rooted all by itself. Not by itself, I mean I didn't have to recut it or anything. This was started at the same time. These two started at the same time. But they were all started at the same time, but the third one I had to uh, cut it down because it rotted. But these ones, I did not have to cut it down. And it's weird because one has a lot of roots and one doesn't have as many roots. So huh, Mother Nature works in funny ways. I'm sorry, this is unfocusing all the time. I think it has something to do with the glass. So I'm going to turn it around. I don't see any babies popping out. So we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. So there's a, there's a nice amount of roots, um, but no baby activity. Is that a little baby? Nah. 
Okay, let me see. Maybe I just want to turn this one around again. What if there's other babies growing? Not that one. Um, let me try to get the focus. If I'm making you guys uh, sick because I'm moving a lot, try working with the camera. You'll understand. It's hard. So there may be something in the back. Oh, okay. Let me get in there, see if that's a baby. There seems to be something else right there. Can you see it? It looks like a little lobster hook. That may be a little baby. I can't, I honestly can't tell right now because it's too small. But if it's a little baby, they will grow quickly from now on. So the next time I come in, we will be able to see them clearly. So what I'm thinking, I thinking there's, ah, let me get my finger in there. I'm thinking there may be one little baby right there at the end of my nail and another one up there. Yeah, if I, if I focus, uh, if I try to get the macro, I lose them. Let me turn it one more little bit. No, wrong one. We have algae in there too. Huh, hope that won't affect it. In my mind, algae actually feeds them, so I may be wrong on this. But we eat algae, so I guess it should be good for the plants too. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the um, the in, the leaves put in the plain water. Now let me see if we can get in here because this was a test between leaves in water, leaves in water with fertilizer, and <clears throat> we had two uh, sets of leaves planted in soil. One were planted very deep. Well, not very deep. They were planted deep. And the other one was just lying. Uh, they were laid on the um, close to the soil line. Now we can see a little bit of activity because I'm using a plastic cup. So we can actually see some roots right there. Let me get my finger in there to show you right. These are roots right here. We got some there and we got some there. So these were from the leaves that were planted. Um, this, these, uh, let me see. These two leaves were planted, um, I guess that would be, I have to think here, vertically. They were planted like this. <laughs> and this one is not showing anything. I don't see any uh, roots uh, showing up there. But these, the, the leaves were planted about this deep if I remember we'll have to look at the first video to find out because I don't remember but um, yeah the roots are coming out at the bottom so there you go for those and I guess um, oh actually this is the other one here I'm, I, I showed you the wrong one because I do see some little roots let me get in there and show you so these little lines right here let me get my pen in here Okay, these little lines right there, those are roots. We've got some here and right there. So these are rooted up nicely. Of course, in the water you can see all of this and in this, in the soil, we cannot see all of this. But it's happening, it's just hiding. Let me see. Uh, if we want it, if we can see anything at all going on. I'm just going to gently, very gently pull one of the leaves up. These are these were laid very close to the um, top of the soil. I'm working with one hand here, guys. One, no, not one hand, one hand. So let me see what we can see from here. See, there's a little baby. Okay, I'm going to move this aside, get my little... I'm using this because it's higher up and easier for me back to show you things. I'm not going to shake the soil around off it. I mean, I don't want to disturb it, but we can see. So this is a little root ball. It's created. We can see little roots popping out here. And actually, when I pulled it up, I actually saw a little baby. Oh, okay. Some soil is falling off. Let 
Okay, and I wasn't wrong. I just found them. And there is the little baby growing. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, it's hard to work in macro. So we do have a little baby. Let me get in here right here. So it's growing. So we have the little roots. And there's another little root right there. So we have a bunch of little roots going on. And the babies are just starting to pop out. So this is what... This is what happens under the soil. So if I want to um, compare the growth of in the soil from compared to the water, I would at this point have to say that um, the soil method went faster. Because remember what I showed you a minute ago in the water, they were very, very tiny. And these are actually, um, well, they're still very tiny, but they are more advanced than the ones that were started in the water. So I am going to um, plant this up gently. Now, it's not a good thing to remove your leaves from the soil like I just did um, because it does disturb them. So don't do it, people. <laughs> this is just because I wanted to show what it looks like and I, I was very careful not to disturb it too much. Um, and I'm just going to add some little soil on there again. So this is what happens when you're planting in this soil. And this one, um, if you look at my videos on how to propagate leaves, I, you're told to plant them uh, horizontally, very close to the, the, the soil line. So when the babies do come out, now this has not pierced the soil line yet, but you can see that they're very close. The babies are right there and the soil line is just above it. So it will be like a question of a few days now for them to pop out. So there you go for the, oops, darn it. I said not to disturb it too much and I'm throwing it around like a baseball. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to gently, uh, re re I'll, I'll fix that off camera because I only have one hand right now. So there is, it's not a conclusion yet, but there is the, um, what happened next to the, propagating in water video so i will see you soon with the um the next one i don't remember if i've mentioned it now or not but um if you're looking for the start of this experiment you, there's many videos uh that were preceding this one and there will be some that will be following i will indicate them all in the um, description box below you will be able to find all the links of every video created for this science experiment I hope you enjoyed and we will see you soon with uh, the following one. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.